So hello friends, welcome to Romcart. Today in this video, I am going to review the Project Elixir version 4.1 for Miatrol devices which includes Realme, which includes Poco M2 Pro, Redmi Note 9 Pro, Pro Max and Redmi Note 9S. So let's get started. So this is the Evolution X. So this is the Project Elixir version 4.1 and this is the customization center so let's talk about the customization center of this room so this is the ui and you can donate the developers from here then we have the theming in theming we have use custom theme option then headline body font where you can change the font of the rom then we have icon pack the icon shape the signal icon style wi-fi icon style and the brightness slider so you get a bunch of options for all of them and in the brightness slider I like the rounded clip which looks pretty cool although the default one is not bad at all then we have the data icon style so all these customizations are similar to the elixir 4.1 which is made for realme rm625 devices because the rom is same and the developers of this rom are same only the maintainers are different okay so now moving on to the connected devices so in connected devices you get this animation and you can click on pair new device then the nearby devices will appear here normally now next we get the wallpaper and style here we get a bunch of options for the lock screen and also for the home screen now in the below we get the shortcuts in the lock screen where you can add left shortcut and right shortcut and you can choose between these options then we have more lock screen options in more lock screen options we get the shortcut which is the same shortcuts that we can see here so here we get the privacy here you can hide the application of specific app or show all notification then we get the leap to check phone which is the leap to wake basically then we have the always on display schedule here you get turn on at a custom time or turn on from sunset to sunrise, like this then in the wallpapers we get five stock wallpapers and elixir walls we get these wallpapers now we also have the random walls and the space and with them we get all the google wallpapers then in battery we get the battery usage and we get the thermal profiles but not in here i will show them later on this video so wait for that so in battery we get the battery optimization battery saver battery temperature and battery widget and the turn on light when charging so here the light is basically this notification light that we get in metal devices now in the storage we get this ui and this animation and in notification we have the bubbles conversation flash notification so the flash notification is basically when some notification or call comes the the torch will turn on and off i mean blink at a several frequency and we have the blink light which is for notification and that is almost the same option like flash notification now in sound and vibration we get this options and the ring volume and notification volume is different then we have the spatial audio so you can turn on the spatial audio if you have dual speaker or stereo speaker then you can enjoy the spatial audio and you can also turn it for wired earphones or headphones then we have the notification default notification sound default alarm sound etc and we have the clear speaker because this is a Xiaomi device then in the apps we get the default apps the game space and the screen time app battery usage special app access etc and in game space we get this typical game space in the games if you go to settings we get preferred mode you can set performance right here and use angle so the angle is basically an experimental feature to improve graphics in the games and the gaming review for this rom is not coming because i have already done that in a live stream if you want to check that live stream i will put a link of that live stream in the description so you can check the 24 minute live stream that i did on this rom but that was not a direct live stream i mirrored the screen and did the live stream however moving to the next option which is the security and privacy and in security and privacy we get the screen lock fingerprint and face unlock and all are working fine there is no issue now in system we get the gestures and in gesture we get the quickly open camera by double tapping on the power button then press and hold power button for digital assistant or power menu then we have the navigation mode now in navigation mode we get the gesture navigation if we click on the settings we have the 
three options which are gesture indicator back gesture animation and back gesture haptic and you can customize the pill length and back gesture height etc if you customize the height of the back gesture then if you set it to the full then the gesture will only work in this section not in this this or this spot so i prefer to keep this right here and if you want to customize the pill length you can also do that too okay now moving to the next settings we have the lip to check phone then we get the developer options which is not by default turned on i basically turned it on because of screen mirroring then finally we get the optimization profiles where you can set custom profiles for your applications for your specific applications like if i click on here you get all the apps and for streaming like youtube or instagram you can set the thermal profile for that application so you can set to streaming application for youtube or any other streaming application then if you want performance in some apps then you can drop down the menu and set performance so in geekbench i just set this to performance and also in antutu i had set this to performance and i will show you the benchmark scores in few seconds and in call of duty i have set this to performance and in the live stream i had already set this to performance now talking about the benchmark scores after setting this benchmarking applications to the performance let me show you how much score i got so after turning on the performance profile or thermal profiles i got 757 in single score and 1817 in multi core score and without any thermal profiles or any mod i got this much scores now talking about the antutu let me show you so in antutu i got 385137 which is not a bad score it's quite good and this is the gpu score and cpu score and if you ever tested the antutu just let me know your scores in the comment section now i also did the thermal throttling test let me show you the screenshot so here you can see there was no cpu thermal throttling which is a very good result and in the graph you can see the graph is pretty much stable there is no fluctuations in the performance which is the best part of this rom and the battery backup is also good so this is basically a performance centric rom and i did not talk about the screen on time so basically i don't use this device much so the screen on time is only 4 hours and 36 minute but i am using this device for last 3 days after the full charge and a few hours ago i just charged it to 100% and currently it is on 89 so the battery backup is really good you will get full day battery backup and in constant usage if you are gaming you will get around 20 to 22 percent of drain battery drain and if you are using it normally then you will get 14 to 15 percent active drain as you can see right here currently it is on 15.37 although if you use your phone less like only sometimes for messaging or checking the social media then you will get around 10 percent of active drain so this is why this rom can be called an all-rounder rom because the battery backup is good the performance is good and the overall smoothness is also good and yes for stock applications i would like to mention that we get the anx camera in this rom and all the features are working fine basically all the sensors here you can see the macro is working fine and the ultra wide also working there is no issue and the wide is definitely working and all the modes are working even the slow motion let me show you so this is normal 720p 120 fps slow motion and if i set the 960 fps it is working fine you can see and if i make a video you can see the slow motion is definitely working and it's basically processing the video and when i open it you can see the video is working so the anx camera is 100% working which is the best part of the camera section and we get a dedicated application for the game space which is this one and we get this dolby atmos app in this rom which gives an immersive audio quality and we get some options in the game space like stay awake disable auto brightness disable swipe to screenshot etc and you can add the games from here and currently we 
have only the call of duty okay so this is it for this video if you have any further questions you can do let me know in the comment section i will see you in the next video bye bye